to my channel and welcome to episode one of Building My Office. I'm back with another series. I, I know I'm providing all the series on this channel. In this series, I am gonna be taking you on the journey of building my office from scratch. So I came here with literally no idea on what I was gonna do with this room. I had no measurements, I had no ideas, literally nothing. And then in the first four weeks of me living here, I was coming up with some ideas in my head, like what's gonna work, what isn't, because it's quite an awkward sized room with where everything is placed. So I will show you that obviously later on in the video. But I was just like, I don't know what I wanna do with it. Finally, six weeks into me living here I have got some ideas and I've got all of the things that I need to build my dream office so I thought what better series to do on YouTube than bringing you guys with me and building my dream office from scratch the plan as it stands is to do this in three episodes because I feel like I'm gonna have a lot of footage a lot of stuff to talk to you guys about and I just want to film the whole process for myself as well so I can watch back on it because this like building my office is literally like one of the biggest dreams come true for me I'm gonna stop rambling for a second but I hope you guys enjoy and let's get started so building my dream office one of the reasons that i decided to move into a two-bed apartment as opposed to a one bed was because i wanted to have an office and i have always done all of my youtube work and just everything from my bedroom i've never had a separate space to keep everything and to do everything in it might be really weird and you might be thinking why are you complaining about working from your bedroom like that's literally a dream and it is but it also means you never really relax you never really switch off because i was working from my bed eating from my bed and then going to sleep in there so i just wasn't moving I wasn't having a change of scenery. Since moving out, I've been doing a lot of my work in the kitchen and living area and my bedroom for the first time is actually a bedroom and I go in there to sleep, I go in there to relax and I go in there to get ready and it's just nice to have the separate spaces. And then when I knew I was moving out, I was like, okay, I wanna have a two bed because obviously I'd been to Hazard Byron's and I'd seen their apartment and I'd seen the size of this room and I was like, this has so much potential just to be an entire room for my job dedicated to YouTube. Like I said, it took me a while to come up with what I wanted to do with this room and the theme and that is why I didn't do anything to this room for the first six weeks of me moving out. I didn't even give it a thought and I was like okay I'm just going to do the first six weeks leaving this room and then I can come in here with a fresh mind. I can measure everything, put some ideas together and see what I can come up with. I was on Pinterest for hours and hours and hours looking at different office layouts and different office ideas and I didn't want it to be anything similar to my bedroom or my living room which is a completely different vibe to what it's going to be like in this room. This room I'm going for a very Scandinavian type vibe it's not going to be super decorated i still want it to be very very minimal but a lot of the decor and a lot of the furniture that i've got i would say fits the kind of like scandinavian type of theme there was one office that i found that i absolutely loved and i instantly fell in love with it and i kind of based a lot of my ideas around that so this is a very exciting process for me and i wanted to bring you guys along on the journey as of now this room is an absolute state and i'm going to spend the next three days transforming this room building furniture organizing my life and turning turning this in to my dream YouTube filming room. First of all, before I explain the plans, I need to empty this room, which means I need to show you what the room currently looks like. And to say I'm embarrassed is like an understatement because this room, it's vile. When I mean it, it's just boxes upon boxes upon boxes. This is just one side of the room. And then you turn to the other side and it's just boxes and filming stuff and more boxes and more filming stuff. It's basically just piles and piles and piles of all of my paperwork, like all of that stuff along the edge. Oh, and my makeup, all my makeup is going to be kept in here as well. So all of this is makeup, hair stuff, papers, things like that. And then all of this stuff here is like brand new stuff to put up. And then this side of the room is like furniture, a bit of decor we've got some shelves we've got all the chairs the first step into doing this is emptying this room out entirely so i am going to put i think the majority of this in the living room i'm just going to push every single box out so we have a completely empty room and then i can show you the plans of where things are going to be i'm not just having like one desk with one chair i'm having like a big desk with like multiple chairs around it and there is a reason for that which i'll explain later on in the video but first things first is emptying this room and guys i'm not going to lie this is going to be a task and a half everything is so heavy i've been collecting this stuff in here for like six weeks so trying to get all this out is going to be very 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 interesting send me luck and send me prayers because look at all of this and all of the cardboard as well i'm going to have to fold down but we'll worry about that after first things first you know it's getting serious when the hair goes up straight up out of the way i don't even know why i bothered doing it today because i knew my hair was going to be like this anyway the majority of the video right mission empty room let's do this I'm 
so hot. I made the mistake of leaving the heating on. Whilst I did all that, and I'm absolutely roasting, but I feel like the room actually looks so much bigger now everything is out of it. Like, the only thing is, the desk that I've ordered is massive. Like, it's gonna take up so much of this room. I feel like on camera especially, I look tiny compared to the room. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. I'm gonna show you my plans. I also need to hoover in here and do just like a clean of all like, the sockets, the mirror over there on the wardrobe, like all along the skirt and boards and everything. However, I don't think there's a point in doing that until I put all of the furniture together because I'm gonna be putting the furniture together on this floor here. It feels so good to have an empty room and to think now the next time this is gonna be put together is gonna be when it's finished. So you walk in and to the left, this is what you see. So I've got this wall here, which has got the light switch there, and then it's got a radiator there. And then you've got this big, big back wall here with two sockets either side, which is amazing, because that's where the bed's meant to normally go. And then you go around here, and I've got the door, which is actually a window. Then you spin round, and this is what it looks like on the other wall. I've just got my charges on there at the moment. And then behind the door, I've got a double wardrobe. It actually is a really decent size space for what it is, and I'm very excited to start work on it. It definitely looks a little bit bigger on camera compared to what it is in real life but let me show you where everything is gonna go the plan is i'm gonna have a desk coming out from here into the middle of the room and there was going to be two chairs either side on this one and then my office chair on the other side i'm gonna have a big neon light across the wall here with two ladder shelves either side and then i'm gonna have a chest of drawers here and then above here i think i'm gonna hang my youtube award so the million one in the middle and then the two 100k ones either side i want to make sure that they come off the wall easy because we are actually going to be using this setup here as as our new podcast setup. So when Byron and I restart our season two, which is coming very, very soon, by the way, we wanna be able to film here and we wanna be able to put up a light with our new podcast name. And then I've got a big, big rug to go on the floor here. So this bit here is just gonna be very, very like office, like this whole wall. And I'm gonna have like achievements and stuff on the ladder shelves. And I'm gonna have like bamboo plants and stuff. It's gonna look really, really cool. And then over on this wall, I am just gonna stand up all of my filming equipment. So I'll have all of my lights constantly stood up. I'll have background set up so I can take photos. Basically Basically just all of my filming equipment that area is dedicated to. The reason I'm actually having a couple more desk chairs is one so I can have meetings in here once we're actually allowed because there's a lot of things that I'm working on that I want to be able to invite people to my house to and just like have meetings in the office instead of me having to go there all the time and also because I'm actually going to be having a couple of people work with me which is going to be so much fun of course I will properly explain to you guys and introduce you guys to them when they join the team but I'm very very excited for that so they're going to be working in the office later on this year so I basically wanted to have an office that was suitable for working in for more than one person that is very exciting i'll tell you what i'm most excited for as well just to have the desk like here and to have my imac on it like i can't believe i actually have an imac and i'm gonna have like a desktop to sit and work at that's gonna be the weirdest weirdest feeling they are my plans for the room i'm really really excited i feel like it's gonna turn out exactly how i want it hopefully i've measured everything right so everything fits but the only thing that isn't here at the moment is the desk the legs are here but hopefully the desk is coming tomorrow or later Wednesday morning. This is what my uh, kitchen and living room is going to look like for the next couple of days. I've just piled everything in here and then this is the hallway. But it is time to start building the furniture. First things first, I am going to build the ladder shelf. So I have got two of these. One of these staff bought me and then I ordered the same one on next day delivery so I can have two either side. However, the only thing I'm slightly confused about now is I'm sure that this is meant to be like not two meters tall or like 1.8 meters i can't remember and i'm just not really sure how it's going to be that tall like i'm a little bit concerned that these are smaller basically as part of that game that i was explaining in my living alone diary from the environment playing we basically have to steal stuff from each other's apartment i want to see if the other person realizes and i stole all of his weights and i just kept them in this room um so i just said hi by the way i've got all of your weights can you come down and get them so Oh, I'm dreading it already. I'm absolutely dreading this. Okay, there is a lot of pieces. Oh, God. I can't believe I've got to do two of these as well. This is going to be a fun, fun day. I actually used to love DIY as well. I've got no idea why I don't like it anymore. Okay, let's do this. Guys, I actually knew it was too good to be true. I've put these on the wrong way. I've got to unscrew them off. Oh, for God's sake. I'm so glad I realised now and I haven't done all of them. Oh, I actually hate myself so much. This is why I just actually shouldn't do DIY. Okay, I 
officially hate doing DIY, but one of the ladder shelves is finally up. It's a little bit wobbly, like I'm not really sure what's going on with it, but um, it's up and at least one of them is up out of the two. Why do I look this way then? I need a lunch break before I do the other one. That was so much harder than I thought on my hands. Wait, look at this. My hands are all blistered and we've lost a nail, but we are powering on. I'm gonna have some lunch and then we can do the other one. I just moved some stuff in here just so I can kind of envision what it's gonna look like. And how cute is this? I have got my skinny dip phone case on this little like stand thing. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet, but I just wanted to put it there so I can kind of see what it looks like. And then I've got this plant. Obviously I need to like store all the leaves out and stuff, but how cool is this gonna look? It's gonna look amazing. I've laid out the second shelf just while I wait for my food to come and then we are gonna do it. I'm setting myself a goal to do this next one in an hour because the first one took me about an hour and 45, which I know is a really long time, but I'm just really not very good at DIY. Thought I'd just show you what I got for my lunch. Obviously I had to get McDonald's. I haven't actually had McDonald's in a while. So I got some chips, throw them on there. I got a Big Mac and then instead of a Coke, which I usually go for, actually got a strawberry milkshake I'm very excited for. Put the straw in there and now I'm going to sit and enjoy this before we go back to DIY. I've had my lunch. We are going to go again. I'm going to crank the tunes on. I'm not going to lie. I'm dreading this already. I think I'm dreading it because I know what to do now. So it's just boring putting the same thing together. I'm going to try and put the drawers together today as well, which is going to go there. So that's done. I feel like I need to get all the buildings done today, but rather not leave it and think, oh, I need to build again tomorrow. I'd rather just do it all today. I wish it was as easy as like just cut into the next clip and it's built. Honestly, that'd be bliss right now. Um, but I'm going to put on my bad bitch playlist and we're going to do this. Guys, it's the last two screws. My hands are so blistered. I can't even tell you, but this one was so much easier to put together than the first because I knew what I was doing. Oh, done. And here they are. Now I can really envision what it's gonna look like and I'm so excited. So in that box back there is my neon sign, which I'm gonna unbox tomorrow. So that'll be in the next episode. And then I've just put the plant there just to kind of get the vibe, just to see what it's gonna look like. I want to put a little bit on the shelf just so I can kind of, yeah, I guess just get the vibe. And the desk is gonna fit perfectly. The rug is gonna look amazing. I just need to do the drawers now that are gonna go where that McDonald's bag is. And then that is the majority of the big building done. It's so weird to have stuff behind me on this wall. I'm gonna sleep so, so well tonight after this. I'm sorry, but why do drawers need this many pieces? This is literally giving me a headache and I haven't even started. I wish I could just click my fingers and they appeared there. With the magic of editing, I could do that. But sadly, in real life, I cannot. No, I'm sorry, but oh my God. Are you kidding? I feel like, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I might have to get a handyman to do these drawers because this is crazy. I'm gonna do you guys a little haul. As some of the bits that I've got so far for the office, these aren't like decorations. These are just like organizing bits. I don't know, but I feel like you guys are gonna really want them. So I will leave links to them all down below. I got this acrylic display holder, which I love. And then in here, this is just something that I've got nearby. But I can stand up like little bits that I've been in, like magazines and stuff. I've got my magazine that I've been in here. I've got my first round of skinny dip designs here. Like this was before we changed them all and stuff. This was like proper throwback like into last year. And I want to display all of this. So I've got these and I've got the letter that I got from YouTube when I hit a million. Just pop that one in front of there. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I got this and I love it. Then I got one of these ones. This is a four compartment acrylic file holder. I thought that'd be really handy for the shelves. And then I also got here some plastic document wallets. And then in here, I think these are just the clear wallets to go inside of the ring binders those are the ring binders there they are all from amazon and they were super super affordable and then here i've got a parcel from denim mill i'm pretty sure this is a rug but let's have a look anyway oh yes it is my rug this is to drape over one of the chairs and then for the other chairs i've got cushions but i just wanted to make sure it still had a very like homely vibe i don't work well in really professional settings so i thought it would be really nice and this was literally seven pounds i think it wasn't expensive at all oh this is so so oh my god this is beautiful Oh wow, this is so soft as well. That's gonna drape so nicely. My big rug is actually exactly like this for the floor and it's also from Dunelm, so it matches, but it's beautiful. Okay, I've been persuaded in this vlog, I'm gonna open this sign because I'm really just procrastinating putting these drawers together. It actually makes me feel a bit sick. Like I'm putting the drawers together, I'm not gonna lie. So I wanna open this and I wanna see what it looks like. This is actually gifted to me from a shop on Instagram called The Glow Hub. I will pop that out on screen. I feel like you guys are really gonna like it. You can basically personalize your own neon signs. This one is so sick. Oh my god, I'm so excited for a first impression. Oh my god, I can see it in the box. It's just a really heavy box to try and get it out of. 
Oh my god, guys, this is exactly what I wanted. Are you kidding? <gasps> this is beautiful. Basically, it says mood CEO, but then there's enough zeros for a million pounds. I basically use this affirmation all the time when I'm manifesting, and I really wanted it in my office. It is beautiful. It is perfect. I literally don't want to see myself. Oh my god, I love it. I'm sorry. Let's just envision it for a second, and I'm going to hold it up, and we can see what it's going to look like. <gasps> it fits perfectly. Oh my god. Guys. I love it. Oh my god, I actually don't want to do it myself because I love it that much. This is so, so beautiful. Imagine when that is lit up between those two ladders. This, oh my god, this is actually my dream office. I honestly don't even know what to do with myself because I cannot believe that this is my office and this is my room. Thank you so, so much to Glow Hub for sending me that. I will show you guys it properly in the upcoming vlogs, but I just wanted to give them a little shout out and show you it before. This bit's not so nice though. Why is my entire house currently like this? Um, yeah, it's going to be like this as well for like three days while I try and sort out my life. I sort everything out, but it's okay. I'm just going to be living in my bedroom for the next three days. I just want to test something. I just want to see how this basket looks in here against everything. Oh yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. I'm so excited as well to show you my makeup storage. Let me show you what it looks like and then the next episode I will organise it all. I feel like you guys are going to really want this and I'm so excited to finally have my makeup out of a box. They are these and they are from Amazon. Let me just see if I can... Oh, okay. It doesn't want to come up. But basically, they're loads of different makeup organizers so i think they're on the side of this box actually all the different sizes that you've got but i ordered two lots because i'm gonna have two drawers full of makeup i think i'm not too sure yet but i'm pretty sure i'm going to and the other two drawers can be used for office stuff but yeah they were really really affordable as well so links will be down below you get so many in there oh wait they're coming out now look at the amount you get in here for the price sides on the drawers until we just realized the top was meant to go on first so we now have to do all of that again and take one of the sides off to put the top on <laughs> do you think alicia maria would do that <laughs> yeah she would is it back on the oh god she was going up at the back uh, oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Uh, you're gonna hate these visuals oh, yeah. come on we need your thrust game Anna. Anna you want me to have a go to be on top go on <laughs> Back you pulled her back in. No, you don't know what I'm on about. No, I do the brown. I don't want to chat with you. The brown one. Don't want to chat with your finger. Don't you might go like that, and it might tap my little finger. Oh, just there. No, you meant to. Can't hold that. You. This is not how you go. Turn around. Back into it. Where's the holes? They've gone. Not that side of the board. Oh, they're back. No, they never went. I wish they. God, that's all our problems. We just need to bring this up a little bit. Well, something's not sounding sound too good then. Where? Same holes, they've gone. Where are the holes? They've gone. Oh! Yeah, it's done it. How the fuck did you do that? <sighs> Imagine I left in the background of my video. I'm embarrassed of extra large condoms with a big bottle of tingly lube. There's an explanation. <laughs> Their presence. <laughs> they're presents. They're not even mine. Mother's Day is coming up. Oh, good old Jules. Who's she Got shagging? Up. It's locked down. She took my Tinder. Oh, lovely. Look at that. That's a snow. Lovely. Give me my phone back. What have you done? Whoa. That's my phone. No. That's my phone. What have you done? Look, they need to. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh. oh. that's not right. Wait, what? <laughs> Why did you miss a whole thing? No. So the bottom ones. No, that's a middle drawer. That has to be. Try it on the top one. It's a circular one. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's a bottom drawer. That's gotta go on the top. You've put the wrong 
Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you sat there and watched me do it earlier while she was sat on your phone. Well, Go on, Anastasia. Well, she was so funny, joking. We've had a lot of phone problems with this thing. You need to grow up. I don't know. <laughs> you just know when that drawer actually falls apart, so I was going to say, I can tell Byron did that drawer. I can tell Byron yeah. enjoyed the drawer. <laughs> Put that drawer in, you should use it. And how long have you been to bed? Don't talk to me like that. Oh, don't work. This is what I mean. What's going on? Oh, 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 take it. Well, what I'm saying is, Anna, you're no, putting Byron, it upside down. No, I'm not. That's meant to go on top. Yeah, how's that fitting on top when this plank of wood's there? Easy. That would just slide on top. Are you kidding? The runners stick thin. You just put it on the bottom again. No. <laughs> Byron, you've you done all, it wrong. You put all the wood on wrong there. Like, where oh, are the oh, holes? The Look at no. the holes where you no. put the holes no. No. Anastasia. Guys, right, can I just Byron, say, all you've got you to do... This wood on wrong. This <laughs> Listen! Because look, where are the holes for the runners? Okay. One hole there, one hole there. It's going in one and out the other because I know I don't know. Look, where are the holes for the wood for the runners? One on the bottom, one on the bottom. You put this plank of wood on wrong. But that makes no difference, they're just holes. It's the same size either way. Yeah, so you So you're going to do matter. This side should be this side, this yeah, side should be this side. Yeah, I agree. But it doesn't matter. But it well, wouldn't. it does because I have to screw into pure wood. Yeah, but you still put it on the wrong side. Because you put it on wrong to begin with. No, but you have the front that's wrong, is it yeah. not? Yeah. I have follow it in structure. Isn't it the front that's wrong? Do you know what? You can absolutely sod your Look at this. Look. Hey. Hey. Look. Hey, that's my word. This side. <laughs> That's your diversion. I'm the worst. And um, we don't need you to mansplain and prove you're right. We know what's Because happened. you know you're I'm right. right. You're mansplaining. Yeah, you're right. You're mansplaining. I'm wrong. It's international. We'll say, show your well, mouth. That doesn't feel very good. Yeah. As we've gathered that, but it's very cheap. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
because I think they're supposed to be at the bottom, so that one and that one also need to be changed so that the handles are at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, oh, baby, you switched it around. Well, yeah, they're not doing anything. That's no, this is there. incorrect. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, so it's that way around. Yeah, because that means that none of this makes sense. Because I was saying the only thing well, I can think of is that this is the wrong way and so needs to be flipped. just put the runners on wrong. I know. But I haven't, I'll because if you look at the... Um, what is it? The runners are definitely on right. Byron, do you want to see all the things that you blamed me for while the camera was on that I actually did do right? <laughs> but I'm not saying anything until we try the drawer and it fits. Let's try it. Let's be loud with it. <laughs> it needs to go up and then like down like that. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, don't get too cocky just yet. Oh. That's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> Is that not how it's in? <laughs> no. Is Anastasia right? It's Byron. <laughs> Donna says you're always right. It's has always right. I think Anna's right, but I think that <laughs> but I think this is wrong. Then no but right. I told you I did do it right. But you have done it before what it says here, I think, yeah. Do you want to take that back now? So everyone, just to give a little bit of an explanation, Haz has figured out that we've actually put the sides on wrong, and by we, I mean Byron, so Byron was the one pointing the finger at me all along, when he actually put the main structure together the wrong way. Um, is that entirely correct? Is it entirely accurate? Is it oh, entirely okay. accurate? Your arse looks very flat here as well, Byron, I'll put a little filter on it. Should put the, what's it called? Bulb? And I don't know what. What babe? I hope your desk and your office stinks like shit. I hope you get a paper cut. I really do hope one day your printer stops working so you can't print any sort of skinny laundry out. <laughs> so you know when you ask, oh babe, can I just come and sit up in your office? Can I work in your office? No. Right, turn your camera off because that's not a real job and get over here and give me an eye. <laughs>